we want to integrate talking about climate change in everything because it is in everything. So, you know, it's not always going to be in science class because not all these kids are going to be scientists, right? Not everyone is going to work in a lab or, you know, be a doctor. It doesn't work like that. They have all different backgrounds and all different studies, but they will all be impacted by it in their lives. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. In March, students from all over Alberta in the Global Center for Education's Connect 2 program held a virtual town hall at Queen Elizabeth High School to prepare a white paper on how Alberta schools can take action on climate change. And they had a very special guest at this event, Premier Rachel Notley of Alberta. Terry Godwell is an infectiously inspiring teacher at Queen Elizabeth High School. He's also the founder of the Centre for Global Education and a teacher liaison to the Connect2 program. And I'd like to welcome the province of Alberta to the Climate Leadership uh, Virtual Town Hall. Let's hear how are you guys excited about today? Everything that you are going to be writing down in your small groups is going to be recorded and is going to be received by our Premier, is going to be received by the Minister of Education, is going to be received by our school boards. I don't know about you, but there aren't a whole lot of times in our lives where we have an opportunity to have such a strong voice. It started with a series of presentations. Bondi Ophiri is a student in Calgary, Alberta. She shares her findings about global warming with the Connect2 group via video. In 2012, a couple science scientists from Europe came together to take a look at the consequences of what the Earth would look like if we hit the four degree mark. And what they found was that the Earth would be the hottest that it has ever been in 30 million years. Also, sea levels would rise by three to six feet and 40% of inhabited land would experience drought. Half of all known species would become extinct as well. So we would literally, to summarize, we would literally be experiencing hell on earth. Last November, more than 10,000 students in the Global Connect program collaborated to produce white papers for the COP21 climate conference in Paris. A student from Queen Elizabeth High School was to present the paper in Paris until the school board cancelled the trip due to fears of terrorism. Hearing about this, Premier Rachel Notley of Alberta, who had just released her own government's climate leadership plan, joined a virtual town hall in November at Queen Elizabeth School to hear the students' recommendations. Today, Notley returns to hear the students. You've produced, as I said the last time that I was here, one of the most extensive climate change documents ever written by young people. And I'm so proud of the leadership shown by Alberta's students on this issue. The students were given the chance to ask the Premier questions, and some got personal. Climate leadership is immensely important, especially in Alberta in an oil and gas industry. What does being a climate leader mean to you? How do you personally incorporate this into your work and your life? On my personal life, uh, that's a really good question. We just got rid of our second car, so we're down to one car. And uh, I like to walk to work as much as possible. That's partially an environmental thing and partially a, um, uh, a walking to work thing. Colin Charlton of Calgary had done the calculations of how much solar electricity could be produced if Alberta covered all of its schools with solar modules. So he figured he'd come out and ask Premier Notley who to talk to about getting it done. What do you think of using the CBE, Alberta's largest school district, as a pilot project to increase solar usage in Alberta, as well as, well as build kids' awareness of both energy efficiency and renewable energy? Who would I talk to in your government about getting this low-cost energy and education idea off ground if you thought the idea was worth pursuing? It's exactly that kind of idea that you're going to see our energy efficiency group work with. And then on top of it, there will be other programs to incent renewable energy production and companies that do that work um, in terms of uh, inviting them to participate on, on our electricity grid, which is a very complicated and, and dip challenging issue because we have the only deregulated electricity grid practically in North America. Those are really practical ideas. And in answer to your question, Shannon Phillips is the minister 
minister of environment and i think that she would actually quite love the opportunity uh, to meet with you and people from the cbe to talk specifically about this issue Mudassar Javid is a student at Queen Elizabeth High School. He wants to see climate change infused into every aspect of education. Well, currently in subjects such as science, in, uh, in grade 10, you start out with all your different cells and that stuff, but at the end, there's a small unit for uh, climate leadership and basically the environment, which is often handed out as a booklet to study on your own. So what we want to do is really make this one of the main units and have the other things as secondary to support this unit. In all these different subjects, such as math, social, English, chemistry, all these types of courses, we really want to implement climate change and understanding of what it actually is. Students had ideas that range from introducing climate change into all subjects in school, to forming clubs, and making schools models of sustainability by doing things such as installing solar. Javid was surprised that a government leader wanted to work on climate change. The fact that she was so involved uh, really surprised me because, like, the image that we get from the government isn't one of focusing on environment, but it's more of economics and that aspect of the society, really. So that was really interesting to see that. This is a small taste of the work that students are doing to see action and education on climate change in schools. To learn more, check out our blog, photo gallery, and podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Want to hear more about making a difference in school? Check out our video on students from Cochrane High School in Cochrane, Alberta. Not only did they work on solar and energy efficiency projects, they even wrote the book on renewable energy policy in their small town. <laughs>